If current estimates hold, the population will reach 9 billion by 2038. One of the major problems we face is feeding everyone. Diseases are at an all-time high. The current model for food production is unhealthy and unsustainable. There's got to be a better way. Scientists say that if 14% of the world planted a permaculture garden or some type of garden just in their backyard, we can replenish the entire earth. So we're setting out to find people who are doing things differently. We'll be looking into alternatives to current food practices that are damaging our health and environment. We'll be meeting the chefs, farmers, restaurateurs, and entrepreneurs who are making a difference. And you'll find out just how easy it is for you to become a part of the solution. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Hit that like button, subscribe, tell all your friends. We'll be eating the freshest food, meeting amazing people, and seeing what we can do to become a healthier, more environmentally friendly world right here on The Fork and Truth. And so here is an example of hemp on rotation. Okay. I'm very concerned about hemp. Okay. Because I think it's the next corn and soy. It's being grown commercially, uh, industrially, and it's raping the earth because it isn't being used to build fertility. Hemp that is grown industrially with chemicals and synthetic fertilizers is not medicine, Right. CBD. Mm -hmm. So hemp that comes from this kind of place or an organic whole farm organism is medicine. And so when we get greedy with anything and we go out and monocrop it for the money, the intention is in healing. Okay. So here we have hemp on rotation. And so the rotation here, if you follow me, is garlic, then potatoes, and then buckwheat, and then hemp. Okay. And then we actually are mixing in an oats and clover. So we have a five-year rotation. And oh, yeah. so hemp on rotation is one of the ways along with the biodynamic preparations and the other good sound physical permaculture organic techniques is necessary for us to rebuild the soil so that it can provide. Otherwise you go hemp, hemp, hemp. I just visited this guy today and he showed me year four, year three, year two, and year one. And year one was like this and vital. Year two was pretty good. Year three is a like, year four was like this. And so hemp on rotation you got it. Hemp it's on the rotation. ranch, man. You got it. <laughs> the fact that organic and biodynamic have to be inspected and pay a fee is telling of the system and the power oh, yeah. in the system. You can poison the place. You can kill all the life in it and the bugs and you know and, and weeds and, and and poison us, and you don't have and to be free. and you don't have to be inspected. Yeah. This is a problem. Yeah. If you've enjoyed watching this bite-sized segment at Sustainable Settings, then keep an eye out for the full episode where Brooke has a ton more information for you. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so and hit the notification bell to keep up to date with everything we're doing. See you next time.